what have been some of the biggest lessons you've learned over the last few years? Do you know what? I feel like the last year has been one of the most telling um, mm-hmm. on a really, I guess, when I'm considering the trajectory of my future and really finally considering myself this founder and this sort of success in whatever lane that might be. Mm. Um, I think some of the key lessons I've learned, which have really then informed my absolute philosophy in life Mm. is that um, it doesn't, it doesn't cost to be kind. Mm. And, you know, especially in fashion, it can be a pretty tricky and a pretty hard industry. Most industries are, let's be fair. Um, but yeah, what's the saying? You, you attract more bees with honey than vinegar. Honestly, kindness is worth its weight in gold. My God, I'm just rattling off like, I love it though. Uh, I just seeing the Instagram quote tiles. I'm just like like, captioning (laughs) myself here. That's hideous. No, I think, um, that's something that I've really learned the hard way and, from amazing people I've learned the power of being kind through having people not be kind to me and then I've learned that also from having amazing uplifting people that have kind of given me opportunity so that's one of the biggest ones I think um is is a is a big learning for me that I remind myself of every day I think the other one on the topic of showing up that we've just sort of discussed is that not everyone is going to show up for you like you show up for them. And you can't actually be disappointed in people if they don't. Mm-hmm. Just because I prioritise it doesn't mean the next person's going to. And it's a little bit like love languages. Just because that's my way that I show loyalty and support doesn't mean that's how everyone does. So I think that can be, that's a lesson that I'm continually learning where I spend so much of my time trying to kind of give and collaborate and support others. And then I can sometimes be left disappointed if it's then not reciprocated or there's something I've needed support on and someone hasn't met me at where I would have met them. Mm. That's a bit of a personal, yeah, realm of discovery for me. Well, and I love that as well, because um, as much as we try and separate our businesses from ourselves, I think that's impossible. (laughs) You know, it is, it does form such a core part of our identities. And as business owners, we are human and we have emotions. And at the end of the day, you know, sometimes it is hard not to get cranky when we get a nasty email or yeah, feel disappointed when somebody doesn't quite show up for us or you know list of things Uh, I think it is hard to separate your personal sense of self yeah absolutely and I think you just sprung the last sort of thought to mind on that topic of what have you learned I think one thing I've really learned and again it's probably in the last year the power of no and understanding that saying no to opportunities projects events invitations whatever it might be is really important um as uh to keep yourself sane and I think when you asked before about how do I do it all it's that I am doing a lot but I am still being selective and there are certainly things that I am declining or that I can't be a part of in in order to give myself the space and the time with my family with on on a personal level and to fulfill the commitments that I've already committed to so that's a big one you're so right. I literally like hilarious. Speaking of Instagram quote tiles, I read something on Instagram today <laughs> that was all around that, you know, the price of your, men- like the cost of your mental health and yeah. that, you know, sometimes if it means your mental health and it means that you can show up in your business and it means that you can show up for your family, you know, saying no and letting people down for an event or a social yeah. situation or whatever, sometimes you actually have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's almost sounds like I'm saying that to contradict what I just have been talking no, about. No, 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 I get that. But there is a difference. There's definitely yeah. a difference between, yeah, saying saying no and saying from the outset, not available for this versus, you know, still yeah. being available. Yeah, absolutely. 